when we arrived at the location, which was a shop on Oxford Street, we didn't know what to think, because from the Lisa Mel, we all thought it was going to be a naked photo shoot. We see a Javi device standing there, and we thought, hey, what's going on? Hi, girls. Hi. Right, now today's photo shoot is for real. One of you is actually going to be appearing on the front cover of an album that's going to be in stores all across the country. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, my God. Mm. That is awesome. I want you to meet your boss for the day, who's right with me. This is Mark Doyle, who is the head of Ferris Angels, and he's going to tell you what he needs from you today. This photo shoot is very important for both me and the company. We've recently rebranded, and one of you is going to be the face of our brand new CD. Now, if we get this wrong, both the CD and the company could fail. Now, seeing as this is a real campaign today, and you've got your boss with you, I'm not coming. There's going to be an added level of difficulty when you get to the location, which Mark will tell you about. So, girls, good luck, and please don't let me down. When Jerry told us that this is a real job, I was like, right, this is my chance to really, like, shine. It is really exciting because it's like not only doing a photo shoot, but it's also almost getting your first job. I don't know what the other girls said, but I definitely want to win it. When we walked into the studio, it was completely empty, really cold, and just a big room with no background, no nothing. I'd like to introduce you to your photographer today. This is Mark De Groot. Hello. Hello. And this is our illustrator, Jason Cook. Hi, guys. Hi, Jason. Jason's here today because this is your entire set. We've got no props, and you're just going to be wearing bikinis. You're going to be superimposed onto this backdrop here on the computer. Basically, you've just got to imagine yourself going to be on an exotic beach. Let's get you into hair and makeup. I was so excited because we got told we were going to be in bikinis because I thought that it would be an outfit that would complement my figure. Having to wear a bikini is very, very hard. I mean, normally when I go to the beach with my friends, I wear surf shorts and a little strap top. So nearly everything's covered. They'd give me these tiny little pants and I'd basically have mushroom on top. Modelling is about your body, so if you've got an issue with showing your body, then you're not going to make a very good model. I don't think you have anything to worry about whatsoever. That no, just shows that you're such a lovely person and that you have these worries in your heart. Everyone has worries every day at a shoot. But when you go out there and you work it, you are a top model. Come on. Willy. Thanks, Rich. Hello. When I walked onto set, all those insecurities went away. I knew I was there to do a job. When they put me on the floor, that was when it got a little bit difficult because one of the guys said, oh, suck your tummy in. Can you um, shuffle up that way a little bit? And I was like... <gasps> and then I had to focus a lot more than maybe some of the other girls because I had to think, right, tummy, face, body, feet. Everything was going on in my head. And I really, really hope I got a good shot out of it. She's done really well because her look is so great. Yes. Yeah, it is so strong. I think, think it would really... be even stronger if more of that personality came out. I was trying to be quite sexy because they were like, yeah, I'm more pouting, but I'm not really a pouter. You know, there was a good 10 minutes of warming up there, and it's possibly 10 minutes that in the real world you don't really have. Really intimidating. Like, I started off just feeling really awkward. Really hope that I've got a good photo out of it. I can't be in the bottom two again. After, you know, a little bit of direction from us, she kind of pulled it out the she, bag. She started to relax and she got some really nice poses by herself. Hello. This was a good photo shoot for me purely because I think out of all the girls, I'm quite comfortable about not being naked, but, you know, not necessarily having a lot on because I am confident about my body. Twist your body around. That's it. It's really sultry. I think Steph is going to absolutely bag this one up because she has got an amazing body, she's got an amazing face and she really knows how to work it. It's a good start, just more with the eyes and the mouth and... Listen, ouch in her back and her chest. So if you can try and stay straight. 
Try not to arch your back too much, though. That's Bland. Lads, Mag. Great, thank you. I think she's a very pretty girl with a great body that's kind of got used to being a very pretty girl with a great body. When I sit on the floor, I was thinking, Erin, you fat thighs. Suck it in, suck it in. I thought very good. Probably the strongest contender so far. I didn't find it as difficult as some of the other girls found it. Stunning. Had a brilliant look and very comfortable as well. Yeah. Hopefully my photos reflect how much fun I had, so yeah. It was really, really eerie in there, because you, you'd be working away, in, like posing, and everyone would just be like... So it's really weird, very, 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 very silent. But I'd rather have silence than people say, do this, you're wrong, turn that, you look wrong. Catherine has all the tools there to make a fantastic shoot. But she just lacked a bit of that sparkle and a bit of the inventiveness we were looking for. God, it's quiet in here, isn't it? Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> 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 Let's have some fun. music playing. Okay, I'll sing a song in my head for you. Excellent. We were dressed in beautiful bikinis, we had to be sexy. I am constantly thinking in my head, be sexy, be sexy, be sexy. And I think some people just ooze sexiness, they are just sexy. I personally don't think I'm very sexy. Anyone <laughs> wants to cha 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 with me? Drums, do you? Okay. She'd be a great dancer, a great actress. But I think for catching the moment, it, it just wasn't happening. It's fun, more than anything. Especially the end of it, where you can just be yourself and you just mess about. And I'm really, really sexy, really sultry. Give it a go. So when I was there doing all my poses and things, I was trying to imagine like a, like a beach in like a hot country and like what I'd be doing. But... Every time I just looked, all I could see was like this man with like an afro and just like a group of people, just all eyes on me, watching me make a fool out of myself. Uh... I'm on the beach in Mali as far as I'm concerned. Hey, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. I won a pole dancing competition in my views are gonna take the piss later. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Charlotte was one of the girls that I actually had um, quite high hopes for. She could potentially take a good picture, but I don't think she delivered for us today. And I felt that was just a bit of a giggle for her.